Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so in today's video, I have a story time for you guys. Um, actually, my friends gave me this idea. This happened, uh, say, two months back, but I just never thought of creating content on this. Like, I never thought that I would make a video, but my friends asked me to, and I think it's a pretty interesting one. Like, you can get like my side of the story. Um, so you can already tell by the title that I did get the coronavirus and uh, this is my experience of how I dealt with it. So I'll start getting ready and I'll start doing my makeup how I do it and uh, let's get right into the video. So before I start out, um, I just want to make it clear that I never got tested. Um, how I know that I got it, I'm just coming to that part and I will explain everything. I took some medication but I won't be mentioning any medicine names because I see some screenshots floating around of prescriptions and I just really don't think it's okay for me or anybody to uh, do that. So I have already done my skincare so I'm just going to start with my bio oil uh, and applying a few drops. Okay. What happened is... Uh, my cousins and I and my aunt so like my dad's sister we all used to go on the terrace every day we all live in the same building and uh, we used to go on the terrace we used to work out we used to chill because like you can't go anywhere else and that was the only thing that uh, would keep us occupied I would say then once we started going a lot of other people from the building also um, started coming on the terrace like you're in your building premises right so you're not necessarily breaking any rules or going out of the building uh, and uh, we were doing that ever since the lockdown started so say March last week yeah we started uh, going to the terrace then once we started going people started seeing and they started also coming and everything was fine every we, people there were a lot of people who used to just walk nobody was going out so we thought it was safe uh, we used to wear our masks but uh, yeah we all still got it anyway I think until May June it was fine uh, and then suddenly uh, an uncle in my building who used to who is uh, 83 years old he fell sick and he used to also come on the terrace so he fell sick and uh, he tested positive so uh, but we never used to interact with that uncle, you know. He used to walk very far from us and we used to sit in one corner. We had our own uh, place where we used to chill. So we never thought that it would really affect us in any way. Uh, certainly we were wrong. We don't exactly know how he got it because he was old, right? So he never used to go out and uh, maybe he got from somewhere, someone else. Like you never know this virus just... just spreads so fast and you can't really tell where you get from so um, we just never thought that would affect us two days later i fell sick so i was fine in the morning i worked out and i had lunch and that day there was amras and puri for lunch okay after i ate that i don't know what happened uh, but i just started feeling really like uneasy that i don't know how to explain that feeling but it's just there's so much like there's acidity and like your bones hurt it's just like there was a lot of body pain and i thought that okay maybe i worked out and i ate something oily maybe that's why because suddenly what happened uh and then i took them and i also had slight fever so then i uh, took a crocin and after that i was completely fine so i thought okay I had that initial scare, I won't lie. Uh, but then I was like, okay, now I'm good. That same night, my cousins also fell sick. And I was just like, that's really odd, right? Like, that's such a weird coincidence that everybody fell sick together on the same day and started showing, like, started having fever. So I had body pain, but my fever went away. So I never really was down with fever. Uh, and that's one of the biggest symptoms of coronavirus, right? Like you do get fever. So I, I went into quarantine. I, I, I was in my room. My room was shut for uh, until I was sure. Basically, there was just a lot of uncertainty and I don't know what to do with that. So I thought, okay, like if I do have it and uh, I don't want to take that risk and give it to someone else. So might as well quarantine myself. 
uh, which I did and everybody else did. It's my cousin who had fever, she had fever for the next two days. So that was three days in total and then that's when you can get tested. I don't know the, what the situation is like right now, but before they wouldn't even let you get tested if you didn't have fever because the kits were so limited. Right, and uh, my brother was fine. Uh, my aunt was also fine. It was just my cousin who had, who got fever for that long, and then she got tested. Uh, so in the meanwhile, I had body pain, and I also started having headaches, like bad headaches. But more than headaches, it wasn't a headache. It was more like your eyes, like your eyeballs hurt. And I was working from home at the time. I, I'm still, I still am, but I thought that you know maybe it's because of i'm looking at the screen the entire time like i just want to tell myself that it's because of that uh so the headaches and the body pain stopped suddenly and i was like okay uh maybe i don't have it like the only hope i would say in my heart see, telling me that maybe i don't have it is that i didn't have fever and uh that's one of the main symptoms but then later we found out that it's not necessary for you to have fever. You can have it if you have other symptoms too. Until then, my cousin tested positive. So uh, the third day, we had a confirmation, and that's the only the, the only reason why I didn't get tested uh, is because my cousin was po tested positive, and we all used to hang out together all the time. So it was just very obvious because I was having the symptoms, and also. It's like wasting that one testing kit which is already limited to find out something that you already know, right? Like it does, it just didn't make sense. So I quarantined myself from the beginning anyway. Uh, I definitely knew that I had it because after the sore throat stopped, I was like, okay, finally, now there's nothing. I just lost my sense of taste and smell. And when you can't smell things, when you can't taste food, that's when you have to be sure that, okay, like you have it. Because I think that's one of the biggest giveaways uh, of coronavirus. Like that's how you differentiate it from uh, a normal flu. I think that was the worst. Because the headaches, they were doable, whatever. Like you can you can go through them. But just, and I love food, right? It's just like you can put dal in my mouth, you can put pav bhaji and you can put shawarma, but everything will just taste the same. Okay. Thing, like you can't smell anything it's that bad like i don't know if anybody who's gotten it will really understand what that feeling is and it was just like 14 days of distress because you're in your room you can't interact with people and also like you can video call people but i didn't even feel like doing that i was just like i am tired of talking about it to everybody like my mom used to make kadha every day and i haldi ka dood in the evening so it was just, I think that's what really helped me because my experience with Corona was not really the worst. I know people have it way worse, like they have real difficulties and, but mine was actually very smooth. Like I, after one, I was still working, okay, like throughout the time, uh, ever since I got it, I was continuously working and my work people were so sweet. They were like, okay, you know, you should just take rest. Like it's okay if you don't work, but I was just like, what will I do not working? I'm just going to sit and think about it. I might as well, you know, utilize their energy into doing something productive. All my symptoms had stopped. Sense of taste and smell wasn't back. So I was just still worried. I was just like, is this never going to come back? Because I really can't live without tasting food. Like, I love food. It took some time. It came back. Net net, I think my experience was not really bad. But uh, unfortunately, that uncle who got it first uh, passed away. Uh, may his soul rest in peace. But uh, the, so every there were other people in the on the terrace, right? I forgot to tell you all that. So there were the people on the terrace, and everybody got it. Everybody, including us, everybody got Corona. Uh, uh, thankfully, they've all recovered now and uh, the BMC has taken that big board from outside my building that said that this is a containment zone. My watchman had also left the building. Uh, he went back to his uh, native place so then everybody in the building was worried like okay now we don't have a watchman so like I think for a day or two we didn't have anybody uh, and then uh, uh, we got a replacement later but for the first two days everybody was very panicky like you know we don't have a security guard and now what do we do but 
I was just like, there's a big fucking board outside our building saying that if you get, if you enter this property, you might get corona. I was just like, why would the thief also want to come here? Nobody wants to come to our building. I haven't even finished doing my thing, and the story now has pretty much come to an end. But I would like to know if any of you people got it, and your experience, or you know someone who got it, and uh, how how was it like? Like I really want to know. I want to quickly give a shout out to all my friends who would constantly check up and who would ask, and who also like you know gave me that privacy and didn't go around telling people that I got it. Like a lot of people who I might be close to also don't know. Guys, this is my final look. I know I didn't show you all the process or what products I used. I'm gonna list everything down below. Uh, but yeah, that was my experience with. Covid nineteen. Uh, I don't think it's anything special because now we know so many people who got it. But that was just my take on it and my experience. And if you just if you like my videos, if you like my content, then subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, uh, share this video, like it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.